Hello YouTubers, it's me Viking Squid and today I'm going to continue my miter saw chat by showing you how to make a saw buck. Now in my last video I showed you what a saw buck is but in this video I'm going to show you how to make one. So when you get a miter saw of your own you can make a saw buck for yourself. To make a saw buck for my compound miter saw I bought three pieces of wood. Two by six is 12 feet long. It's not going to be cut. The two by four is 10 feet long and it will be cut into several pieces. And the five quarter radius edge deck board is also 10 feet long and it's going to be cut in half. I still won't get rid of this though because these three pieces uh, don't take up a lot of room either and I can stack them and screw them together and transport them fairly easily or if you don't have a lot of room to store that's probably a better solution for you right there I'm going to make a saw buck like this one only this one that I have here for my delta saw is a folding saw buck the one that we're going to make is not going to be a folding saw buck. And what I mean by a folding saw buck, I can fold it up and put it in the back of my truck. I made it that way because sometimes I don't want anything hanging out of the back of my truck if I'm going a long distance. And that folding saw buck works good for that. But this one that I'm going to make will not be a folding saw buck. And the reason that I need a different saw buck for the other miter saws because they just don't have the same footprint. I have these little uh, what you call threaded rod connectors sticking up off of a carriage bolt that the saw sets down on that keeps it from moving. It doesn't hold it down, but it keeps it from moving around. I'm going to do the same thing when I make this other saw buck. So I'm going to need to find me a piece of plywood. That's the only thing I did not buy. Our next step is to turn the saw upside down and find the widest part, which is right here, 18 and a half inches, to determine how long to cut our plywood. I found this piece of pressure treated half inch plywood and I've already cut it so that when I put it on here the saw rests on it without over any overhang. Once the plywood is cut to the right length we're going to center the saw by eyesight on top of the piece of plywood like so and then come in with a pencil and mark the holes. Total hardware that you need is four quarter 20 thread machine screw. In this case, this one's four inches long. Four of these quarter 20 thread T nuts and four of these quarter 20 thread threaded rod connectors. To accommodate the T nut, I'm going to drill these holes with a 5 16 drill bit. Once you've drilled your hole, put the T-nut in the top of the board and then tap it in with a hammer. Once your T-nuts are installed, take the machine screw and run it all the way through. Once you have all the bolts all the way through, we're going to put a threaded rod connector on and run it all the way to the bottom. Once the threaded rod connectors are on, be sure to tighten them as tight as you can. But don't over tighten because you don't want to break the bolt. Okay, now that you have it all together with the threaded rod connectors, the next step would be to cut off the remainder of this screw flush with the top of the threaded rod connector. Once you finish assembling it, you're going to set the, the saw on top so that the threaded rod connector comes up flush and sits in the hole. 
That will keep your saw from moving on the saw buck. However, it's not going to hold the saw on the saw buck. So if the saw buck flips over, the saw will fall off. The next step is to measure our board. 121 inches. So we're going to come to halfway point, 60 and a half inches, and make a mark. We're going to want the full width of the table to be over the full width of the 2x6. So come in here on your plywood and make a mark where the front of the table is. My mark is one and a half inches back, so I'm going to have the end of the plywood hanging off an inch and a half. I'm going to center the plywood on the board. That's why I made that mark. And you can check that, make sure it's centered, by measuring from end to edge both directions. I use six galvanized deck screws to screw the piece of plywood to the 2x6. In the next step, I've laid a, te a level across the tabletop. I'm going to measure on both sides to see how high our tabletop is. It's 3 and 7 eighths on that side and 3 and 7 eighths on that side. So that means we're going to have to take this 2x4 and rip it two and seven eighths of an inch thick because we're going to lay them in blocks and then we're going to put this five quarter radius edge deck board on top and it is exactly one inch thick. To rip the two by four to two and seven eighths inches I used this small table saw which is an ideal size for a backyard wood shop. However, if you don't have a small table saw like this you can easily rip your 2x4 to the right width using a skill saw. Just use the same technique that I used in Backyard Woodshop Part 2 when I ripped the bevel on the top of the sawhorse. Since the 2x6 is 5 and a half inches wide, our next step is to cut our 2x4 into 10 five and a half inch long pieces. I'm going to do that using my delta miter saw and the saw buck that I already have. The next step is to cut the five quarter radius edge deck board into two equal pieces. Cut it in half, square the ends. Since my two by six was two feet longer than the five quarter radius edge deck board and my plywood was not two feet wide my 2x6 was too long so what I did after I cut my 5 quarter radius edge deck board I laid it from the plywood to the end and cut the end of my 2x6 flush on both ends. In the next step I used these two and a half inch coated deck screws to screw my blocks down in equal increments on both ends of the 2x6 my final step was to take the 5 quarter radius edge deck board, flush it with my block, and screw it down using two of those two and a half inch coated deck screws on every block. Total cost for the lumber was $13.91. The total cost for the hardware was five dollars and ninety five cents so as you can see for under twenty five dollars I built a saw buck for my miter saw